Thank you for having us. Um, I just want to start by introducing myself. My name is Matt. Uh, I'm a junior uh, in this uh, program. Um, so today I'm going to be uh, directing, and we have a lot of groups to help us out today. Uh, we're going to be talking about cybersecurity and uh, how to identify, avoid, and protect yourselves from scams that you'll find online and in everyday life. Um, so quickly, before we go over anything, uh, I just want to talk about like what exactly we're going to be talking about. So first off, we're just going to be talking about what scams are and like what the legal implications of them are. Um, uh, then we're going to be going into how to identify them and like certain key characteristics on how to identify them and how to be skeptical if you've run into a certain situation. Um, and then once we go through that, uh, in sections three and four, we're going to start with scheme types and we're going to call up our different groups that have different presentations to focus in on different types of scams. We're going to present those to you. And uh, fourthly, we're going to be going over social media awareness and just like some of the platforms that you might find some of these um, scams or schemes on and so just how to work the program in a safe and um, credible manner. Um, so first off, we're just going to start with section one. So what is a scam? Uh, Merriam-Webster Dictionary describes or defines a uh, a scam as to deceive or defraud someone or something. So basically in law, uh, uh, fraud is the intentional deception to secure unfair or unlawful gain uh, or to deprive a victim of a legal right. Uh, fraud can violate civil law or criminal law and may cause no loss of money, property, or legal right, but still be an element of another civil or criminal wrong. So you don't have to necessarily lose anything to still be, um, to, or to, for there to be elements of fraud. Um, all right, so some key characteristics of our schemes. So first, if it's unclear what product is being sold or what service you're getting in return for your money, be a little bit skeptical. Um, a lot of times in schemes, something that will uh, happen is they'll be like, oh, just give us your money, we'll do this for you, but you're not really sure where your money's going or what you're getting in return for your money. That's a key uh, thing to look out for. Another thing is if there's promises of high return in a short period of time, um, you know, a lot of times people will say, oh, give us $1,000 and we'll turn that $1,000 into $3,000 in 25, 30 minutes. If you just give us your information, that's not going to happen. Money doesn't just multiply like that. Um, so uh, if there's emphasis on recruiting as well, specifically, those are going to be in pyramid schemes. Uh, you know, if someone says, okay, this is a great opportunity for you, but what would be even better is if you could get five, six, seven other people to be involved, um, that is not uh, be skeptical of that. Uh, another thing that you want to be uh, aware of is just if there's seemingly easy money or if there's like a passive income, you don't really have to do anything to get more money. Be a little bit skeptical of that. Uh, it doesn't just grow on trees, unfortunately. Um, and then, uh, so if there's a complex commission structure, if you don't know where your money is going or you don't really know like how they're asking for you to get your money, um, you know, if there's if you don't know how uh, you're going to give the money in order to receive something, be a little bit skeptical of that. So. Um, so we're going to be going over the different types of schemes. Um, and before we get into that, do we have any questions before we move on? Do we have any thoughts? All right, so I'm going to call up our... Thank you, thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to be call, uh, before we begin, uh, I just want to kind of go over the six types of scams that we are going to be talking about today. Um, so the first one that we're going to be talking about is lottery scams. Uh, and then we'll get into like phone scams, uh, grandparent scams, uh, tech support scams. We're going to be talking about relationship scams, and we're also going to be talking about home improvement scams. Those are the six most common types of uh, scams and schemes that you will run into in your everyday life. So uh, without further ado, welcome in. Um, so I'm just going to kick us off um, with our first group, uh, talking about lottery scams. I'm going to call up Isabella, Casey, and Maria. I'm Isabella. I'm Maria. I'm Casey. So lottery schemes are phone calls which claim that you won some sort of prize, um, usually pertaining to vacation or money. And But to access the prize, you have to send a certain sum of money, usually to cover some sort of fee. But the prize never shows, and individuals can fall victim to this scam more than once by the same scammer. So it's a phone call. That's how it usually is carried out. And then the scammer can tend to be some sort of well-known company or person to build trust. And then they will tell you in order to access the money, you have to send more money um, with the guarantee that the prize is on its way. And then people can uh, fall victim to this for long periods of time after the initial payment. So there were this couple, and they were the Browns, and they were stealing from people. Um, and they were calling from Costa Rica, but they had technology to say that they were calling from Washington, D.C. And then like people would fall for it. They would ask questions like, do you pay your taxes? Like, to make it believable. So they... They fell for it, and they ended up stealing over $900,000. Okay, so these are common mistakes and how to avoid them. Clicking on links sent to you from people you don't know. If it's an unknown number or like little numbers, like um, letters and numbers, 
and it's a link. Don't click on it because it's probably a scam. Um, believing everything you see most of the times, just like fact check. Um, giving out personal information through technological devices, especially if it's in order to win a prize. A lot of the lottery ones will be like you can enter your information and get a prize. Um, don't enter your information over like that sort of thing. How to avoid them. Update yourself on the scams going around. There are ways that um, scams become known through different websites. So um, keep yourself updated on that. Make sure your personal information is secure and um, security software always up to date because that can also help you. Um, steps, steps to take if you get scammed. <laughs> Stop all contact um, and make sure all your personal information is secure. You want to make sure everything is secure. Um, like your finances or electronic devices, depending on what um, the scam is. Number two, change all your passwords because most of the time the people will change your passwords, so you have access to that to change them back or to change them to something new. Um, and run a credit report to see if any new accounts have been opened because that's another common thing. Um, step three, contact your bank because most banks will give you your money back if you withdraw um, from the bank because of um, a scam. And four, report the scam file, both a police report and a report with your bank because it's important that the police are notified. Okay. okay. I'm Emma. I'm Meadow. This is awesome. Oh, I'm Topher, <laughs> by the way. Okay. Okay, so um, how phone scams are carried out is usually like, they'll like call you and like it's a fake phone call and like they'll try to get your personal information or they'll just try to get like money out of you. Yeah. Okay, so. A teen from Australia was scammed out of $25,000 in a phone scam. She received a text from her bank with a spoofed number. Okay. The message claimed she did not know and was trying to make a transfer from her account. She warns anybody to not fall for the same scam. Um, this picture shows like what this type of scam would look like. So if you like receive a text message saying something about your like bank that doesn't look familiar, they're sending you like code numbers, don't fall for it. Okay, what steps should be taken to avoid the scam? Block unwanted calls and texts. You can get a call blocking app. Um, don't answer unknown like <coughs> numbers or callers. And don't reply to messages asking for personal, personal or financial information. And what to do if you are a victim of the scam? Contact your bank immediately. <coughs> Usually they can reverse the transaction. Um, you can also file a police report. And you can also go online and report to the report the crime to the Federal Trade Commission to also see if you can get your money back. I'm Kaylani. I'm Kira. I'm Savannah. And we had grandparents scams. Um, uh, someone calls and impersonates a relative or a grandchild that is close to them and asks for financial assistance immediately. They also imitate the caller ID so this way they can't tell where it's coming from and it looks like it would be coming from a trusted source, and often they claim to have been an accident or arrested. Um, so two men from Hollywood, Florida, uh, were sentenced to prison for a grandparents scam. They would induce older people to send them money by calling them and telling them that their grandchild or like close relative were needed help, uh, in the case needed money, um, and then they would convince the grandparent that they were in trouble, and then pick up the money through in-person pickups, mail, wire transfer, or, and then launch on money. Um, measures you can take to avoid this is resist the urge to immediately take action on what the scammer says. Don't engage with the scammer by call or text. Don't give out your personal information like your address, social security. Don't give out cash. Check your privacy settings on social media and online. Be cautious about what you put online and contact the agency the scammer is reporting as to where the arrest took place. Oh, hi. I'm Luzelli. <coughs> oh, I'm Camille. And hi. <coughs> this is Tech Support Scams. A nine year old woman named Phyllis Weisberg um, was defrauded of $20,000, <coughs> but she wasn't able to get back the money, so now she's trying to share her, her story. My name is Phyllis Weisberg. I'm a 90 year old widow. I was a victim of an online scam. The scammers managed to get into my checking account. They removed $20,000. Phyllis isn't alone. We are talking about a billion dollar industry. And a key thing is that the over 60 population accounts for about a third of those losses. It happened to me 
Don't let it happen to you. Protect yourself. So later fed and soft uh that's black how is what I as gun. Even if the number is local loose lace, this is gonna use fake IT information to look like local business or task companies. If you can pop with message, check out the tax bar it just you can add more. Oh, steps that you could take to avoid scams. I know it's repetitive, but oh, you should never give control to your, of your computer to someone who just contacts you out of the blue. It's not safe. Um, you should also don't not click links and also unsolicited pop-ups or emails. If it just shows up out of nowhere, don't click it because it's probably not safe either. Um, maintain your antivirus software updated and recognize legitimate tech companies. Uh, what you what you can do if you're a victim of of a scam, um, you can contact the uh, credit card company and tell them like what happened and to see if you can you're able to get the money back. But uh, if you're if you're scammed of like a, a gift card, um, you should like contact the company of the gift card and ask they're able to like refund your money. Hi, I'm Naylea. I'm Anola. Um, so basically, a relationship scam happens when a criminal adopts a fake online identity and then uses that to gain the victim's trust and affection. The scammer usually uses an illusion of a romantic or close relationship to manipulate the victim and or steal from the victim. Um, so this is a case that happened here. Uh, so it's, uh, his name is Kofi Ozzy. He's a 30 year old man and he was scamming from 2016 to 2020 and he um, created a fake profile and then he gained the victim's trust before asking them to transfer money to his bank accounts that he opened with fake passports. And then he would spend money on cars and send them to Nigeria to sell them there. Um, there was uh, one victim who was in Florida and she sent over $200,000 um, because he said that he needed to secure his release from custody from the following explosion on the world. But he was caught and arrested in February 2021, and he would plead guilty to the charges. Okay, so helpful steps to avoid this um, type of scam is to be careful what you post online. Also, use respectable websites. Um, if you have started a relationship, an online relationship, always be sure to look at the person's um, profile picture and profile. Make sure the person is real. Always ask the person questions. If the answers are always, are too good to be true, then obviously the person might be fake. Um, be aware if the person asks you for inappropriate content or financial information, because obviously they're trying to scam you. And then if the, be suspicious that the person continues to cancel any meetings that you've set up to meet in real life, and they continue to cancel, then obviously they're not. I'm Nicole. I'm Roxana. And Alex is not here today. So. <laughs> Sometimes we want to like fix something in our houses, like probably like the floor, the stairs, or something, just just to improve it or just replace it. So sometimes scammers do take advantage of that since they're like, hey, you want to fix this? Well, I can help you in a really low cost, but technically it can cost you way more than a ship. So scammers' actions. So scammers um, tend to knock on your door looking for business in the area. Um, scammers say that they have materials left over from previous shops. Scammers pressure you for immediate decisions. Um, they also ask you to pay up everything in front or only in cash. Um, scammers ask you to get any required building permits. And scammers also suggest that you borrow money from a lender that they know. So this is a case that happened um, on Tuesday, January 10th, 2023. So these three men um, ended up going to an elderly man's house um, and asking him if he had needed a repair on his home. And um, he said he does need a repair on a step in his front porch. But what the guys did and said, they tore out the whole entire porch and told the guy that in order for them to fix it up, they ha he has to pay them first in order to fix it. Um, he did end up paying the people, so they did end up fixing it. But the um, elderly man ended up calling the police and saying that he was scammed out of his money. So the police ended up setting an operation where they called the three men up, 
saying that they needed repair on their home, and um, when they showed up, the police arrested them. Um, what to do and what to look for when it comes to these kind of scams. Uh, only go with licensed and insurance contractors. Try to make sure you can ask them. You you have the right to ask them. Like, hey, I want to see your license. This is legit. Um, so don't be um, scared to do that. Uh, avoid inspections that are free. Most of them will be like, hey, I can inspect your house. I can like do this for free, and probably gonna charge you after that. Um, estimate like how much you're gonna spend. Have a budget and stay with that budget. Don't try to. Okay, I can give you like hundred, hundred more dollars, and that's fine. So try, so try to like stay with that. Um, read contracts like fully, even the fine print, like the smallest details. Like read the entire thing. Um, do not go with the ones who are asking for a thirty percent down payment because some of them are can be scams. Um, try to avoid contractors or contracts with vague language. Um, if you cannot communicate with them fully. Try to either get someone you trust or try to get another contract with some the same language as you. Um, do not go with contractors that ask you for the homeowner um, permit or license because sometimes they just want to make sure it's your house to like pretty much do whatever they want with your house. And then avoid paying with cash because it's not registered, so you can pay a certain amount of money and they're gonna be like you didn't pay or say oh, you paid less than that. It's not recorded. Because it's just kind. Um, what do you do if you fall victim? Contact a lawyer. If it is caught in time, you can cancel all your sales. Then contact organizations like your local building department or submit a formal complaint to the Better Business Bureau. Um, you could also file legal claims. Important things to know about Facebook. Um, it was going to be called Face Mesh, and that was the original idea. And it was just to compare faces. That didn't really work out, so now it's Facebook. Um, communication, like worldwide, you can talk to anyone, anywhere, which is good through their Messenger app. And it's a global platform. There's 2.93 billion people that use Facebook worldwide. And it's the third most visited website. What is Facebook? <laughs> How to use Facebook? And Facebook benefits and common problems is what the main focus of this is going to be. So basically, the main purpose of Facebook is to stay connected to friends, family. Um, so Facebook is a social networking site that makes it easy to stay connected with friends and family. It was originally developed in 2004 by Mark Zuckerberg, specifically for college students. But by 2006, anybody over the age of 13 and an email could download the app. Um, these are some of its like main features or what you can use it for. You can post um, status updates or other life events. You can send messages um, with friends and family, and you can share or repost different content, like videos, more publicly. Okay, so this top column is going to be how to use Facebook, and then the bottom column is how to start your account. So first, when you first click on um, the app, you'll see people's stories. You can update your story. Other people, your, you'll see your friend's story. Um, there are tabs at the bottom, like one example is Marketplace. Um, there's a watch section, a game section, talks, explores, lives, reels, shows, and Facebook has its own original shows. Um, there's a notification tab, a friends tab, um, where you can see all your friends, and Facebook is relatively easy to navigate because everything is labeled. Okay, so how to uh, get the app. You can either go to the website or your app store. Um, it will ask you personal information like your age, your name, um, your email, your phone number, Etc. It will then ask you to create an account with all the information that you just put in, and then it will lead you to like a blank account where you can customize it with a profile picture, your bio, um, anything you want to put. So the benefits of Facebook are staying connected to family and friends. Like I said, you can text anyone, anywhere, so you can keep in contact with people that might live far away. Um, finding new interests. There is group chats for hobbies. There's pretty much everything there. You can find something there for you. Um, and having access to current events, there's probably like a Facebook group for every town, so you can keep caught up on like current events that are happening, if there's someone around, anything you need to be aware of. Okay, so common problems with Facebook, like any other social media, fake news, there's a lot of fake news associated with Facebook. Um, Facebook has its own marketplace where you can buy um, or sell things. That's always a place where um, you should research if you do want to buy things. 
um, fake giveaways. Facebook will um, offer a lot of giveaways that like once you click on the link it will lead to a scam so just be um, cautious of that. Romance scams, since in Facebook um, in your bio you have the option of putting in your relationship status so that makes some people an easier target for romance scams. There's a lot of clickbait where um, you it looks like something good but then you click on it and it leads to a scam. And then also fake surveys and, and fake job offers. So if you do want to get a job offer through Facebook or take a survey for money, because some can be legitimate, um, just make sure you research it before you um, do anything further. Um, how to avoid the scams? With buying items, just use official payment methods and Facebook has its own Facebook checkout. Um, research, research anything you want to take part in before you do it, because it can be real. So. Um, just research before. Pressure, if they're constantly putting pressure on you to pay quicker, answer quicker, um, it's most likely a scam. And virus protection, make sure all your security updates and um, the virus protection measures are up to date. So we have like an interactive game and so I'm going to show a slide and each one shows an article, a page, or some sort of post from Facebook and the information included could either be real or false and you guys just have to guess whether you think it's real or fake. Okay, so this one says, space from the International Space Station. Where in the world are you watching from? So if you think this is real, um, raise your hands. One person thinks it's real. If you think it's fake, raise your hands. What is it? This one is Yay. fake. The video is, um, it's AI'd. The video doesn't actually exist. Right. It was made in a basement. <laughs> okay, so this one says, Harrisburg and all surrounding areas. We need urgent help identifying a young woman who was mugged, stabbed, and left for dead on the roadside. She's in a coma right now, and the deputies are not able to identify her because she doesn't have an ID on her. Let's bump this post so it may reach people who can be able to identify her. And then there's the picture and image. Yeah. Are we going to ask how many think it's real? Yeah. <laughs> if you think this post is real, Raise your hands. <laughs> I mean, honestly. You got to ask the opposite? How many? Who thinks it's fake? <laughs> okay, two people think it's fake. What is it? It's fake. It, um, some of the key signs is that it's by Kelly Clarkson. 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 Oh, it's going to like a car, deep, um, car shop. Um, group chat and it leads to like a GoFundMe page that isn't real. Um, this one is a food page on Facebook, your bread and butter food service. Um, yeah, it's like a food page. Is this real or fake, guys? <laughs> Raise your hands if you guys think this one is real. Bread and butter more food service. Raise your hands if you think this one is fake. <laughs> <laughs> is it real or fake? Oh, it's real. Real, real so service. It's restaurant and it's in Massachusetts. Lower Rock. Yeah. yeah. Washington Street. Hello, Cosmic Caterpillar. <laughs> this Hubble Classic image shows a light e cut off. <laughs> Do you guys think it's real or fake? Raise your hand for real. Okay. <laughs> it's real. What? Real? Um, it's verified account. And it's a picture from the puppet. It's a cosmic oh. caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> they are not cosmic caterpillars. Sorry. It's a no, Um, it's verified, so that's an easy way to tell that it's more likely to be real because Facebook had to identify this user. Um, this is another food page. Um, Asian Fusion Restaurant, it's in Houston. There's a picture of the food. Do you think it's real or fake? It looks good in either way. It does. <laughs> okay, raise your hand for real. Oh, oh wow, four of you. <laughs> hey, I'm your kind of phone. <laughs> Not for real. <laughs> 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 um, raise your hand if you think it's fake. Uh, three? Okay, let's see. Oh, it's real. This page, this page exists, but this restaurant does not. It was a private scheme by a few like young boys who wanted to 
gave the bill and the money, so when they tried to buy from the restaurant, they would just get scammed out of their money. Uh, please speak a little louder, I can't hear. A little louder. So, um, this company, this, this restaurant doesn't exist, the page does, but um, there was two uh, young teenagers who created this page, along with a few others, and they would just scam people out of their money when they tried to buy from the restaurant. So sad to hear this devastating news. My prayers and thoughts are with Beth and her family. I woke with her, and she is such a caring person. Um, it's a GoFundMe page. Fake. Um, fake. So, fake. raise your hand mm. if you think it's real. One person thinks it's real, okay. Okay, raise your hand if you think it's fake. Wow. It's real. Really? Purple. What's happened in Berlin, Massachusetts? An easy way to like make sure stuff like this is real is just by googling it and seeing if you can find other other articles that have the same problem. Now we're doing TikTok. I'm Meadow. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. So what is TikTok? TikTok was founded in 2018 as a replacement of um, Musically. Uh, TikTok was used to showcase talents and allow users to express themselves in short form videos. Uh, TikTok is mostly used by younger generations. Uh, there are videos such as tutorials and pretty much anything. Uh, vlogs, dancing, pets, daily routines, cooking, baking, tips and tricks, political talk, funny videos, uh, DIYs, cards, etc. And below is, is um, an example of a trend. Why TikTok is so popular? Um, TikTok is so popular because it's such an easy use platform and there's content and creators for anyone and anything. Um, you can also have a private account, so you can have a public or private account. Um, TikTok also has a For You page. This is an option on your um, app that personalizes um, a page of like where you use it. <clears throat> where um, it this <laughs> the For You page is created um, from like it takes videos that you interact with, like the comments and likes, and it creates a specific algorithm of videos that you like. So, for example, if you like cooking videos and you interact with these videos that come up. Your for you page will show you more videos about cooking. So I have some examples of videos that could be on your TikTok from comedy or useful videos. So one of the first videos I have is how to properly water plants from the top. So <laughs> simple, just watering your plant. Okay. And then we have an Amazon video that like some helpful things you could buy. My best selling Amazon finds it just uh, this all in one gadget lets you easily measure and dispense the exact amount of solids and liquids like peanut butter, milk, honey, and oil so you don't have to use any other measuring tools. This container lets you keep a bag of sliced bread fresher for longer. You can store it on the counter or pantry and makes it super easy to dispense one slice at a time. This silicone mat can be used as a jar opener, a microwave mat, a splatter guard, as an oven mitt, utensil rest, a pot grabber, and even as a trip. This sliding caddy is perfect for air fryers, toasters, and coffee makers so you don't have to drag kitchen appliances across your counters. This under the cabinet spice rack easily mounts to your shelf and gives you access to the spices you need. Plus, it doesn't take up a lot of space and makes your cabinet look more organized. <laughs> so informational videos are on TikTok and then I put some funny videos in here. So, uh, mm, we'll start off with this burger man. <laughs> 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 okay, and then we have a monkey dancing. <laughs> okay, and then of course I had to include someone from New York. <laughs> okay, those are just some videos on TikTok. Okay, so some drawbacks of TikTok are um, privacy concerns, um, cyberbullying, and inappropriate content. TikTok has been criticized for like not doing enough to prevent like these. Um, and addiction and scam content are also some drawbacks of TikTok. Um, so now we made some TikToks. So <laughs> one of them. I woke up in a new world. We did the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm still on it. Oh, okay. We're on Snapchat. <laughs> Alright, so Snapchat. how Snapchat works is it is a platform you send pictures and videos to your friends on, and the snaps vanish after they are viewed. 
Every time you send or receive a snap, you have a snap score and it goes up by one point. And then you can also have group chats with all your friends. And you can start something called streaks, which is where you just send a snap each day to one another. Um, Snapchat is used for like, communication between people, individuals, or like group chats. You can communicate through chats, pictures, or like short videos. You can also post on your story or make a private story and post on what's, what's on your mind. Um, and then people use the filters they have to express themselves. Uh, Snapchat is popular because teenagers use it to stay in touch with their friends. They can post on their story. Um, they can take pictures that are deleted after they're opened, and they can save things to their memories or my eyes only. Uh, possible drawbacks of Snapchat is that predators can easily find targets on Snapchat if they're if they have their location on. Uh, it can cause mental health issues and creates unrealistic beauty standards because of the filters. And scamming is common because people can just create an account and pretend to be someone you know and ask for money. Okay, and again to introduce ourselves, I'm Uzeli, you're Millie, and hi. <laughs> um, so this is YouTube. Um, basically, YouTube is a free video sharing web um, website where uh, users can watch, like, share, and comment, or upload their videos. Uh, it was originally created in 2005, and YouTube is now one of the, uh, one of the most popular websites on the internet with visitors watching around 6 billion hours of videos every month. YouTube is popular for its different types of content, and it's uh, good for uh, different users because uh, for its partner program, it's, allow it's allowing its creators to um, make re revenue off of like, the content they create. And one of the dra drawbacks of YouTube is that um, some content creators do more harm than good, um, like this family channel right here called Daddy05. They originally were like a family-friendly channel, but then once their painting videos started getting more and more views, um, it really um, relied on like their kids making more more of the money, and so they started using their kids more, which ended up like abusing their kids more and more, mm -hmm. and which is which is like what most printing channels have in common nowadays. They really don't care about the well-beings of others. So ads can be adapted or filtered for the audience because sometimes it can be inappropriate. There's a lot of depression, uh, obscenity, cyberbullying, and many content creators so companies own claim copyrights strikes. So how do you use uh, YouTube? You can download your cell phone or TV. You can use the Google too. You just go to the search bar and type YouTube, and then go right to the YouTube. So in, in, in YouTube, you can search different types of, of content that we your interest, like cooking, fashion, games, moves, songs, toys, and sports. Uh, some videos can be like several minutes to several hours. Mm -hmm. And YouTube has like, like TikTok search videos that goes from 10 seconds to one minute long. So this one is one of the famous. Uh, scams on YouTube. Many um, YouTubers like sell products or um, assets of their own from other companies or like themselves. Uh, such as Azure Speed. He has a. He was. Um, uh, he, he's a streamer, but he was also like um, presenting with like a company uh, called. Uh, Paradox. Uh, there's, sorry. Um, on screen, they came up with a fake Ronaldo, and you can see him right here, and that's I Show Speed. Uh, the company was claiming that um, their uh, game could make you five hundred dollars per day, and that they're also giving away like free PS5s, which on which on stream he ended up destroying on camera, and so that really turned his audience against him. But of course, he's a YouTuber too. Uh, so some good things about YouTube is that uh, it has a lot of information for students and it also has a bunch of ed educational videos. So if you're having a problem with t uh, technical stuff like computer stuff, uh, it's a good place to search and watch videos about it because they have really easy videos. Um, it's free, so that's good. Uh, it's ex 
accessibility. Uh, you can watch, you can access YouTube from any device of internet. internet. Um, you can watch it on your TV, your cell phone, uh, tablet, anywhere. Uh, and you can even rent movies on YouTube. Uh, it's good for opportunities. If you choose to upload videos on it and your videos do does really well, you can eventually get money off of it. So it's good for opportunities. Uh, and it is also based on people's interests. So um, whatever you watch, it's what's gonna sh keep showing up. So if you like gardening or um, basically anything, religion, w uh, when you keep watching, it's gonna keep showing up. So it has anything for, for everyone. Again, I'm Lindella. I'm Nailea. We did Twitter. Okay, so. So, um, what is Twitter? So, Twitter is basically um, an app that's fine on social media that can, you can post and see what's posted around the world. Um, you can use it in three ways. You can send a short message to the public. You can send a short message to the specific person by adding them to what you're writing and posting it to the public. Or you can send a private chat to the person through like a message. Um, you can choose if your account is public or private, so you can see who can follow you and who can't. Okay, what are the features? Um, so the features of Twitter is you can tweet, so you can write and post whatever you want. Um, you can post photos and videos, but just videos under 60 seconds. And you can repost and share other people's posts, so it would show up on your account. And then you could like and comment. Um, why is the app so popular? The app is very popular due to many famous celebrities using this app on a day-to-day -day basis, which encourages their fans um, to download the app to see and interact with what their favorite celebrity is doing with at the time, because with um, and what they're thinking and doing. This app also allows people to demonstrate their freedom of speech by posting and by basically posting whatever they want and what they're thinking in that moment in time. Okay, um, so the cons of Twitter. Um, there's many comments that um, are offensive that are taken down. Um, celebrities can quickly influence a lot of people really fast. Like a tw uh, someone can say like, oh, drink this and people it. Um, and many people get canceled on Twitter too. So like famous celebrities or people that have names for themselves, they do get uh, boycotted. Like Kanye West got canceled for saying controversial statements about the Jewish community and then that led him to get canceled on social media and boycotted his brands. And he got canceled. I'm Nicole. Roxana. So we use Instagram, so we're going to talk about the purpose of Instagram, the background of Instagram, some famous people on Instagram, the pros of using it, and the cons, and um, Instagram's impact on society. Okay, so the purpose of Instagram is, Instagram's sole purpose is to like let users post videos and pictures about anything they want on their profile, and anyone can see it. So the background. So the app was launched in October of 2010. The app was started by Stanford graduate Kevin Sinstrom. Instagram is an app that created to post photos around the world. Um, the name Instagram comes from Insta, that comes from Insta camera, and Gram, that comes from Telegram. Instagram is one of the most top three social media apps used today. Uh, many celebrities and companies use, app, use this app to promote their products and whatever they're doing. And the app's nickname is most commonly known as Insta. These are some people that you guys might know. And the first one is Kylie Jenner. Um, she's an American socialite and media personality, businesswoman, and former model. She is known from um, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Um, so now she has 388 million followers, and she is the fifth most followed person. In so The Rock, he has 377 million followers. His original name is Dwayne. Um, he's also known by The Rock as his ring name because he's an actor, a film producer, and a former professional wrestler. Um, he's known as the one of the greatest most professional wrestlers, and he's the sixth most followed person on Instagram. Then we have Justin Bieber. Um, he's a Canadian-American singer, and he's recognized for his genre melding musicianship and a global influence in the modern day. 
Um, and he is the 12th most followed person with 288 million followers. So here are some of the functions. Um, Instagram will find at least one thing you'll enjoy and it will be between any of these. So this is your For You page or your feed. It's, you go in there, you like whatever you like. You can have food videos, comics, dresses, any videos. This is your opening page, it's your home page. That's where you see everyone that you follow, all their posts, all their stories. This is your message page where people can message you, send you stuff. You can also write little notes um, of what you're thinking and you can see other people's notes. Um, there's Right here, there's a little button on the bottom of each thing and it's for your reels and you can see tons of videos. And then this is your profile where you can create anything you want on it. You can see your followers. You can change your name, you can post, you can post on your story. Um, Instagram's pros. Instagram is one of the apps that can be discovered by many. Uh, people use Instagram to pretty much carry their marketing and promote their products. Uh, so people start modeling in there. Um, Instagram, it is known for modeling purposes. Um, you can find a lot of models and a lot of companies and campaigns for models. Um, people also use Instagram to connect with friends, family, or anyone else in the world. Um, almost like a lot of, I would say, a big percentage of teenagers do use Instagram more than adults use it. Um, but something um, interesting about Instagram is that not only people can get famous or companies or campaigns can also like be um, movies, agencies, um, animals, or objects in general. And these are some examples of it. So this is Jeff Pop. He's a little Pomeranian. He has um, 9.4 million followers. Um, he has the Guinness World Record of the fastest 10 meters on his hind legs, the fastest 5 meters on his front legs, and he did appear in the Dark Horse music video by Katy Perry. Then we have the Egg. Um, the Egg is uh, is an account with 5 million followers. Um, he broke the record with the most like post on Instagram that beat it Kylie Jenner's uh, most liked post and that post got to 16, 16.07 million um, likes. Um, another one is Doug the Pug. This is the Pug. He has 3.6 million followers. Um, he became famous in 2014. He appeared in the Fall Out Boy music video. Um, he also has a book out called Doug the Pug, The King of Pop that published in 2016. And the owner is using the money that Doug the Pug makes. Um, the owner has launched a foundation to help children with cancer. Instagram's cons is anyone can make more than one account, um, and you can It doesn't really like you have to verify it, that's me or that's this um, company or something. You can just create it, and they don't ask you questions about it, um, which just gives the chances to people to create fake accounts or copies of somebody else's um, profiles. Um, that can be really, um, that can lead to like false information spreading around that people can just like create news um, uh, profiles and just spread like false news or stuff like that, which is something that you have to look up. Um, something that does Instagram do is um, verify accounts. So if it's verified, it's a big chance that it is legit. Um, but it can be also a really addictive app. You can get, you can be there for hours and you don't even notice. Um, Instagram's impact on society. So on young people, um, they, so how Instagram works, social media can be very toxic or very positive. So um, with teenagers and young people, it can rather affect people in a good way on how they look and act, and sometimes it affects them in a bad way. Um, younger generations use this app to create new personalities or more materialistic ones. Um, with older people, um, the app is used to generate the purpose of lack of social interaction because you're able, if you move far away from people, you're able to still connect with them through social media. Um, most of them do um, are filled with daily newses, and it helps a lot of people to stay with their business and creates a safer place for them to spread their small business. I just want to give a quick thank you to Mr. Colburn and Mr. Frames in the back for us. Uh, they were instructors and they oversaw this uh, project. Um, so, myself, uh, these are all the people that uh, participated in our program today. All right, guys, thank you.